Kozlowski, you meathead. I was listening to that. Hey, you guys, enough already. It's bad enough being cooped up with this miserable lump of rock without having to share it with the two of you. Now shut up, and you might learn something. step forward in the Soviet Union. Pipe down, children. Mikhail Gorbachev, the new general secretary of the Communist Party, is facing the first test of his leadership as the crisis in his country grows. The Politburo is said to be divided over Mr. Gorbachev's plans for political and economic reform, so-called perestroika. The head of the KGB, Nikolai Stronsky, is reported to have left for his Dhaka in the Crimea with a number of senior military figures. But official Kremlin sources deny any split. Sport now, and Czechoslovakia has won the World Ice Hockey Championship after defeating the Czechs Canada couldn't beat a team of at home girls. in Prague. Meathead! You stink, Fowley. I don't know, Armstrong. If our tour wasn't up next week, I'd seriously consider swimming home. <laughs> what is this, a tea party? You ladies were due on the parade ground ten minutes ago. Now get your asses out there or I'll have them stitched into footballs and kick them from here to New Jersey! Get those shoulders back. Stand up straight, Kozlowski. That's more like it. If I were a Russian, I'd take one look at you bunch of schoolgirls and laugh all the way to the U.S. of A. You boys may be flying home next week, but if I send you back like this, Uncle Sam will think we're running a holiday camp out here. So before I ship you out, I'm going to shape you up. Armstrong. If anyone needs to shape up, Armstrong, it's you. I've seen sumo wrestlers with flatter stomachs than yours. Can you see that truck over there, soldier? Can you? Sprint there! Now move your ass! Armstrong, you see that truck on the left? Run to it and back. Hurry up! done. Get back in line and put your gun on your back. Soldiers, it's time to see what you're made of. Let's hit the training ground. There's a truck waiting for us by the gate. Hurry up.
Even for war, sir? Even for war, soldier. Now it's time to prove yourselves. Armstrong, you seem to think you're pretty good. Well, you can go first. Run along the lane between the two blocks, then back to us. Get moving, soldier! Go for it, Dave! Well, Armstrong, that wasn't bad. Now the rest of you, go, go, go! Pretty good, man. Okay, get back in the truck. Time for the firing range. A good soldier must be fast, exact, and effective with his weapon. Armstrong and Peterson, you're up first. Run to the crates and pick up some ammo. Good work, Armstrong. Now, the rest of you.
Game's just off here. Christ, George, you scared the hell out of me. Yeah, I'm keeping fine. Sarah's fine too, I guess. To tell you the truth, I ain't seen her for months. Business? Terrible. But look, what's this all about? You're kidding me. No, you ain't heard nothing. Well, Jesus, George, there's 10,000 people in that town. They can't just have stopped talking to us. Well, I guess I'll be right over. And to think you spooks promised me the quiet life out here. Good to see you boys, we're ready. Nice to see you again, James. You'll be brief further. the sleep out of those eyes, gentlemen. Colonel Blake will brief you. A ten hut! Thank you, Sergeant. Okay, men, at ease. At 0700 hours yesterday morning, contact was lost with Everon, the easternmost island in this group. The last communications that came from the island reported heavy military activity in and over the streets. From what we can ascertain, Everon has been occupied by a hostile force, origin unknown. As the only NATO presence in the area, it is our job to respond. Choppers are waiting to ferry you to Everon. Any questions? Sir, you say the origin of the occupying force is unknown. How can that be, sir? Hasn't anyone, like, spoken to them? Believe me, we've tried, soldier. Our intelligence assets in this area are limited. I'm sure Washington is diverting satellites to the area like crazy.
but this has caught them by surprise, and it's going to be a while before the first bird passes over. For our part, we sent a couple of helicopters to take a look yesterday. Neither returned. Sir, there's not many of us, and it sounds like there's a heck of a lot of them. Should we get some more of our guys over here before we try anything? A carrier battle group is heading for the area at flank speed, but it's still a few days away. And the longer we wait, the longer those guys, whoever they are, have to dig in and reinforce. Washington wants to move fast before Moscow gets involved if they aren't already. We're going to have to do the best we can with what we've got. Those choppers are waiting, soldiers. You'll be briefed further en route. Good luck. Dismissed. Okay, soldiers, you heard the colonel. Sounds like your holiday is not over just yet. Now gather up those kit bags and let's move. 